Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Today with your year-end market update. Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters. Thank you so much for watching my video blog today. You know, here at the end of the year, one of the questions that I'm getting asked the most is, what's happening with the market? And in reality, we are ending a strong eight-year upward trending cycle. And what happens at the end of every upward trending cycle is that we have a flattening or a little bit of a decline in the market. And that's very much what we're starting to see the beginning of. Now, by no means do we think that there's going to be any kind of crash like we saw in 2007. So don't uh, let that discourage you. We have none of the same conditions that we had back then as far as the lending environment. Uh, new con home construction, especially here in Southern California, has slowed dramatically from previous years. So we don't have the flood of new inventory either here in this area. Just to give you some basic information about what's happening here in our local multiple listing service, our average sales price back in May was pretty much where we peaked out. Our average sales price was a 771 for the entire multiple listing service. And now it's currently sitting around 733. So that's an average of 5% drop in prices. Now, some areas have seen greater drops and some areas have really not seen a drop at all. So it really will depend on the specific area of what you're looking at. And some of that is a seasonal adjustment as well. So we're kind of hit with a double whammy that we've got an end of year slowdown plus the end of a market cycle. Now our active listings last year, to give you some comparison, at the end of the year 2017, we had 46,631 homes on the market. Now we've seen a slight uptick in that because just in November of last month, we had 63,596 homes on the market. So a little bit of an increase, and that's not even December yet. So we will see that increase this month. Our pending sales it, last December in 2017 was 14,215. November of 2018, again, remember this is just November, which is typically a stronger month, we only saw 12,686 sales. Now that's down 28% over last year in November. And our closed sales, December of 2017, we saw 19,058 sales, and November alone, we only saw 17,253. So that's down 11% over the last year. So again, some slight changes here, but over time they will add up. Our average days of market right now is 43 days. Now that's up quite a bit as well. Last year we were looking at about 23 days on the market. Now our average sales price to list price, and this is what's very interesting, is still 99%. So if you list your home at the correct price, in general, you will get within 1% of your list price. So I know a lot of people are very nervous that they're gonna get big lowball offers or something like that, but if your home is priced correctly, you are generally gonna get very close to that price. Now, our overall, average original list price to sales price is on average 97% as well. So the real key to note is that if a home is not priced correctly, it's probably not going to get a lot of showings and it's probably not going to get a lot of offers. But if it is priced correctly, you're going to see offers and the market is really going to dictate this. So really what this means is that we're moving into a normal market. So the listing inventory is growing, which means buyers have choices, and when that happens, prices go flat or decline, which is what we've been seeing. We're in a normal market, then that motivated sellers will price their homes competitively to get their homes sold, or they offer incentives to help bring buyers as well. And we see this a lot with new builders. They'll often offer very competitive rates and incentives. In fact, here in downtown Long Beach right now, there is a new construction project and they're offering interest rates at 2% for some brand new townhomes. So there are some really great incentives for those new construction projects. It makes it tough though for the regular home sellers to beat those. Normal homes in a normal market will sit on the market longer versus just a few days in which we saw an 
in the abnormal market for the last eight years. It does take a very skilled agent to get, and pricing it correctly to get it sold. In a normal market, interest rates have been a factor for both buyers and sellers. So again, we've seen this with the rising interest rates over the last year. In a normal market versus an abnormal market, there's less profit appreciation. We've been really lucky here in Southern California for the last 10 years and seen 9, 10, 12% appreciation every year depending on the area. So that's slowed a little bit and become more normal, which is 3 to 5% appreciation per year. And lastly, to summarize, it's really just that we are moving into a more normal market, more balanced market. Not, we're not yet in a buyer's market. Our inventory has not grown that significantly. But it, buyers definitely have more choices, so they have more options. So if you know someone who wants to take advantage of the market right now, let me know. We are here to help throughout the holidays, and we want to wish you and your family a very happy holidays and all the best as we go into 2019. Thank you so much for watching, and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.